If I can end up running a private equity firm after getting expelled from school at age 15 and leaving education with no qualifications, plenty of other people can do just as well, says Paul Wedgwood, the founder of Supernova Capital. Running it well, Wedgwood might add, Supernova has just completed its first exit, selling the Polish video game developer Flying Wild Hog for $137 million, something like 15 times what it paid for the business. It has certainly been a long and twisting road to this point. Wedgwood is best known as the former CEO of Splash Damage, the game's developer he co-founded in Bromley, southeast London, in 2001. But Splash was his third attempt at a startup, two previous ventures had met with ignominious ends that Wedgwood feared would strangle his entrepreneurial ambitions. After the second failure I had to meet with the official receiver in Croydon and was fully expecting a telling off, he recalls. In fact, this civil servant told me to take what I had learned from those failures and give it another go. That was an instruction to which Wedgwood could relate. Growing up on a London council estate, he learned some tough lessons about resilience. And after being thrown out of school for mucking around on the computers, he talked himself into a field engineering role in IT, despite having little experience. A rapid rise up the ranks saw him work for government and in the city. It dawned on me that I hadn't needed a degree in computing to work on the IT system in 10 Downing Street and I began to think about what else it might be possible for me to achieve, he says. Splash Damage was the perfect outlet for that ambition, indulging Wedgwood's passion for video games, leveraging his IT experience in business and the public sector, and providing a new application for the communication skills he had learned during a stint as a television presenter on a video games show. Launching the business with friends with whom he had already been working to develop games for fun was part of the attraction. That would be my message to anyone wanting to follow my path, Wedgwood says. Find the one thing you would get out of bed for in the morning, even if you weren't being paid, because you'll have the passion to make it work. Still, the business was far from plain sailing. During Wedgwood's near two decades at the helm, Splash Damages developed a series of huge hits, including Wolfenstein, Enemy Territory, Doom 3, Quake Wars and Brink. But it also flirted with collapse on a string of occasions, Wedgwood reckons there were at least seven periods of crisis where the business could have gone under. It was these experiences that sent Wedgwood back to education, albeit on a self-taught basis. He began to devour management and business theory in order to master the basics of running splash damages as a commercial success and not just a labor of love.